Well, good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's Spyrite quiz. So, we're not tempting fate. I can just tell you that uh, Bill Tooley has been fighting off the gremlins. Hopefully we have uh, an incident-free quiz tonight. Interesting time last week. Hopefully. Keep fingers firmly crossed. We'll have a smooth transition tonight and we uh, get through the 20 questions without incident. You know the drill if you've played before, it's 20 questions with a multiple choice format. Against the clock, so the quicker you answer, the more points you stand to gain. And we're, all, all, we're, all, we're already uh, approaching the 50 mark, so that's great to see. A number of people signing in. If you haven't played before, you need a second device as well as one that you're watching the quiz on. Something like a smartphone or a tablet. Then you go onto buzzerpad.com and punch in that PIN number that's shown on the screen, 85661. And don't forget to press the finger at the top of your virtual keypad as we go past 50 players tonight up to 52 at the moment important you do press that finger at the top of your virtual keypad so that you're registered to take part in tonight's quiz it has a spy rights and premiership theme so of course all, all to do with the spy rights but there is a premiership theme to it and while we're waiting for people to sign in that uh, pin code 85661 let me just tell you about a couple of things coming up we have this weekend the valentine's day takeaway dinner for two from the renowned kitchen at the technique stadium 45 pounds for two people to enjoy a superb three course meal all the details are on the club website so uh, take a look there and of course you can email your choices to events at chestfield-sc.co.uk but just refer to the club website and also we'll be having a valentine's day edition of the fun family quiz and uh and i'll just revert to the quiz screen so that people can see the number 85661 and then press the finger at the top of your virtual keypad and uh, the exciting news with that is that we have managed to uh, get some sponsorship for that so for this sunday's quiz as a one-off the prize for the winner is a £45 voucher provided by Lombardi's Italian Restaurant on Sheffield Road. So the winner will claim that £45 voucher to use for a takeaway from Lombardi's. So uh, many thanks to them. And also I've been talking today to uh, Scavelli's, the uh, provider of uh, beers they also have their own range of gin and wine as well so um talking to them about providing some quiz uh, quiz prizes each week and also while we're talking about prize winners we will have the winner from last month so we put everybody into a draw to spin the wheel to determine the winner so we'll play that at the end of the quiz to show who's won from last month's draw. So, as always with this one, the winner will go into a draw at the end of the month, but we will have three prizes. So they'll be split between the, or sort of combined with the family quiz, apart from this weekend, because we've got the Valentine's special, so we know about the prize for that from uh, Lombardi's. But uh, what we will have for the other weeks, we'll have the winner of the Spyrites quiz and the family quiz each week will go into a draw at the end of the month 
and we'll have three prizes to hand out at the end of the month. So uh, to make it a little more interesting, I'm sure you all play for the fun of it anyway. But 85661 is the pin code and don't forget to press that finger at the top of the virtual keypad. Phil Tooley keeping an eye on things on our YouTube channel. So, I'm sure Phil will be answering the uh, questions that are posed on there. And make sure that my sound is turned down actually on my screen so we don't get any feedback. I'm just taking a quick look, plenty of activity on the uh, chat on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, we have uh, quite a few people talking there. I'll give a, a shout out to the likes of uh, Andy Bowden, We've got Tim C, um, Keith Johnson, we have as well. Welcome to you all, Luca Cancellara. So, good to have you all on board. 69 people with us now. 85661 is the pin code. So, on your Virtual keypad through buzzer, buzzerpad.com. Punch in that number, 85661, and then press the finger at the top of the virtual keypad. We'll get underway shortly. Maybe that we've uh, got the optimum number now. So, of course, this is part of our Spy Rights at Home offerings. Trying to keep you entertained during the lockdown period. We go back to the quiz screen and we see there 85661. Are we all done at 69 people? So we're six minutes past eight to be exact. So I think that we can safely assume that everybody who wants to play is with us. So just a final call there 85661. Take part in tonight's quiz and don't forget to press the finger at the top of your virtual keypad against the clock just a final reminder about how it works oh, jumped up now to 71 so good job we delayed a little there for those two late comers a reminder that uh, it is against the clock so the quicker you answer the more points you stand to gain you'll see the clock go down and the points go down at the same time and your first answer is final you can press your keypad as many times as you want but it is your first answer that counts only, so uh, no chance to uh, change it. Unfortunately, if you have a change of heart, then it's unfortunately too late once you have committed yourself. So uh, I'm going to check that we have our screen looking right and we've got no problems with anything blocking that out. So. We will now get underway with tonight's Spy Rights quiz. Good luck, everyone. Now, we may need to just change the screen now, just seeing that it's... done the trick. But we'll take a look first of all. Let's see who's with us tonight. Test, our old friend, is there. Spirefly, Glee Team, Haslam Spire, it's number one Spire. Veil Madness, who won it was two weeks ago, and I think I'm right, Marcia, that you were in third place last week. I think that's right. So, uh, Veil Madness, again, will be looking to challenge at the top of the leaderboard and the madness in the draw at the end for the prize from last month. Uh, Kevin Wagg, our winner last week is shown there as well. So let's get underway with tonight's quiz. So which of these Premier League teams have Chesterfield played most times in football league games? Fulham, Leicester, Sheffield United or Burnley? Remember, you need to answer as quickly as possible. So the Sparites have played most times in football league games. Is it Fulham, Leicester City, Sheffield United or Burnley? 
which of those teams has Paul Ryan's played most times in football league games? Less than half the time now remains. Only a handful of people yet to answer. Secret Stag and Kong are among them. Time running out. And the answer is... Burnley 50 times, Fulham 36, Leicester 30, and the Blades 26. So how many people put D, Burnley? Well, Sheffield United getting the most votes with 39, but Burnley 17. Let's take a look then at the leaderboard after question one. Operation Knee Anniversary is at the top. West Bar Spyrite, a multiple winner. I think it's three times in this one, and also a winner the other week of the Fun Family Quiz, Pilsley Academicals. That's the latest from the Pilsley franchise. Rockwell Spa writes there. <laughs> Pfizer writes, I like that one. Does by Slow Collect Connection, Volodymyr, all the way from the Ukraine. Welcome, uh, Volodymyr, and your slow connection seems to have speeded up. Zoomed out, then Moondog and Ben Smith. That's the top ten. Question two. Aston Villa's Matty Cash is a son of ex Sparrite Stuart Cash before he joined Chesterfield. Stuart won the 1991 FA Trophy playing for which club? Colchester, Woking, Wickham or Enfield? So who did Stuart Cash win the FA Trophy with in 1991? Either Colchester, Woking, Wickham or Enfield? of those teams was uh, Stuart Cash with. But we'll look at the escape so a lot of people's noticed that Matty Cash is the son of a spyrite, a former spyrite. Time running out, quickly getting your answer in. 36 have answered. And the answer is Wickham beat Kidderminster in the final. So C. And that's the most popular answer with 35. Well done if you got that. Question three, true or false, Lawrence Maguire has made more first-team appearances for Chesterfield than Harry Maguire has for Manchester United. Very simple, A or B. So A is true and B is false. A is B, true and B is false. So if you think that he has made more than Harry, then put A or B if you think that is false. That's in 15 seconds. As Lawrence Maguire made more first team appearances for Chesterfield than Harry Maguire has for Manchester United. So A, true, B, false, and the answer is true. Lawrence just over 100 for Chesterfield. Harry just short of 90 for Manchester United. So take a look. And yeah, most people are getting that right. 63, only 13 thinking Harry had made more appearances. On to question four. Three players who would subsequently play for the Sparrows appeared for Premier League teams in the comp competition's first ever weekend in August 92. Which of these future Sparrows did not appear in the Premier League that weekend? Mark Crossley, Paul Warhurst, Andy Scott or Graham Hyde? Remember, if you've gone too early, you might not have registered, so make sure that you have got your answer in when it's a long question. Some might go early and try to beat the clock, but uh, until I press go, and it won't count. So you can press as many times as you want, but you can't change your answer. 15 seconds left. Now we seem to have the same ones that are I'm guessing there's some connection issue with Kong and Secret Stag. A test, of course, is not a real competitor. And the answer is. Andy Scott, he was at the Blades, but not a first team regular at that time. So C was what we're looking for. I suspect this might have caught a few people out. Well, no, I'm wrong. Most popular answer with 29, but a fair spread of answers. 19 for Hyde, 18 for Warhurst, and 11 for Norm, Mark Crossley. So I think we'll take a look at the leaderboard after question five and the answer to that. Question five in the 
2006-07 Carling Cup run, the team faced three Premier League and one Championship team. With the, which of the opponent's goalkeepers earned the most full international caps? Carl Hakimi, uh, Nicky Weaver, Rob Green or Scott Carson? So we're answering Hakimi from Wolves, Weaver from Manchester City, Green from West Ham or Carson from Charlton? But the one with the most full international caps from those particular goalkeepers. Fifteen seconds remain. Now Bobby Dennis yet to answer. He's in the draw for the prize at the end as one of the winners from last month. And the answer is Rob Green, 12 England caps, Akimi 10 for Nigeria, Carson 4 for England, none for Weaver, but it made amends Phil Says by playing one game for Mansfield Town. The least said about that, the better. So C is what we're looking for. And the most popular answer with 30. Let's take a look then at the leaderboard after five questions. Beachy is at the top, just a point ahead of Das Spider, Moss CFC. West Bar, Sparite and Moondog. That's the top five. Can you see yourself amongst those? Veil Madness, a winner the other week. And Kevin Wagg, last week's winner. And they're bunched together on 84. Which current Premier League player is seen here taking the plaudits after scoring for Chesterfield? Is it Liam Cooper, Sam Klukas, Ryan Edwards or Connor Townsend? <laughs> Look at the photo and tell us which one of those it is. So Liam Cooper, Sam Lucas, Ryan Edwards or Connor Townsend. Less than half the time now remains. And only one to go, Kong. 78 people answering. It's a good return. And the answer is... Connor Townsend against Morecambe was also sent off in that game now at West Bromwich Albion and in their relegation fight there. So take a look. D is what we're looking for. Yep, and slightly the most popular answer, 31, but 28 going for Liam Cooper. Question 7. Which x appeared... In 25 Fleetwood Town games alongside Jamie Vardy in the 2011-12 season. Peter Till, Alan Goodall, Jimmy Ryan or Richard Wood. So who played alongside Jamie Vardy for Fleetwood in the 2011-12 season? Till, Goodall, Ryan or Wood. And less than half the time now remains. Caught the end of the commentary on the Fleetwood game last night against Doncaster. Always makes you laugh when you hear the music played for the goal celebration. Is it from Captain Pugwash, I think? I heard that a few times in the commentary. And the answer is... Alan Goodall. Peter Till was also at Fleetwood that season, but only played eight times with Vardy. So B is what we're looking for. Yep, slightly the most popular answer with 32. 26 going for Jimmy Ryan, who later played for Fleetwood. Which is the only current Premier League side Chesterfield never played in any league match, though there have been cup meetings over the years. Everton, Liverpool, Arsenal or Chelsea? The current Premier League side that the Sparrows have never faced in any league match, although they have faced each other in cup competitions. Everton, Liverpool, Arsenal or Chelsea? And less than half the time now remains. 27 people answering so far. Came in late. It's one of the ones that's not answered. Secret Stag and Kong. Guessing with a nifty connection. And the answer is Everton. So how many people put A? Yeah, most popular answer again, 31. 23 going for Arsenal, 12 for Liverpool and 11 for 
Chelsea. On to question nine. Name the brother of this ex right who's a current England player. Harry Winks, James Ward-Prowse, Kieran Trippier or Declan Rice. So look at that photo of a former spy right and tell us who his brother is who's a current England international. It's either Winks, Ward-Prowse, Trippier or Rice. and half the time now remains. Low connection, Vladimir has been getting his answers in quite quickly, but, oh yeah, he's in now. Only Kong, who's uh, failed to answer. 79 people logged in. And the answer is Kieran Trippier. The picture is Kelvin Lomax, who uses his mother's surname. So C... Yeah, very popular answer, 44. So people doing well to get these right. Some tricky uh, questions. Let's go on to question 10. We'll look at the leaderboard after that. So Chesterfield were the first away team to beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge in a Football League match in 1905. Which of these England internationals was Chelsea's keeper that day? Albemarle Swepstone, Morton Betts, Leslie Gay or Bill Fatty Falk? Great names there. The England international in Chelsea's goal when the Spyrites beat them 1-0 in 1905. Albemarle Swepstone, Morton Betts, Leslie Gay or Bill Fatty Falk. I think I'm right in saying that uh, Fatty Falk is buried locally. I'm trying to think where it is. It's near Tubshell. For Sheffield United. I can't remember the name of the place. It'll come to me. And the answer is indeed Bill Fatty Folk. So, how many people put D? Yeah, we have 37. It's a the village near Tibshelf um, where he's in the churchyard there. But I'm trying to remember the uh, name of the village. I've been, I've been to the village as well, but uh, never been to the. Uh, Graveyard, right, okay, so let's take a look. See the leaderboard. Daz Spire, 31 points clear of Beachy, then Moss CFC. Kevin Wagg in fourth, and Croydon Blues in fifth. So I think Phil may well be filling me in with a D. That's it, Blackwell. That was the place I couldn't remember. Blackwell Church is where Phil Fatty Folk is. Uh, very a real character worth reading about Fatty Folk. Some uh, great anecdotes about him. So take a look and see. Well, have we got now last week's winner, Kevin Wag, is in fourth. Yeah, and let's take a look further down. Winner a couple of weeks fell madness. Not not doing so well tonight. Thirty eighth place at the moment. Let's quickly. Go down there and just to see, yep, some uh, familiar names we have joining us. Now, oh, Dunk Fletch, I'm sure Duncan is a late entrant, either that or he's just not been able to sign in because he is a regular player. In fact, while we're doing this, we're just gonna alter that screen a little just so we get see if we can. Now, something to do with the resolution, I think that. So we just see at the bottom chopped off one or two names. But let's carry on with the quiz and we go on to question 11. None of Chesterfield's current squad has ever made an appearance in the Premier League, but one of them wearing squad number 42 was an unused sub for his then club in a Premier League match against Sunderland in January 2017. Who was it? Joseph Yarny, Joel Taylor. Nathan Tyson or Martin Smith? So an unused sub. We're in squad number 42 in January 2017. It was either Yarny, Taylor, Tyson or Smith. And less than half the time now remains. So who 
came close to making a Premier League appearance in January 2017, Joseph Yarny, Joel Taylor, Nathan Tyson or Martin Smith. And the answer is... Joel Taylor for Stoke City, so B. And most people are going for, well, a lot of people are going for Joseph Yarny. So only seven getting that right. Well done if you got Joel Taylor. So this current Aston Villa player is the brother of which ex spyrite Is it Charlie Dawes, Paul McGinn, Brad Barry or Matt Briggs? So look at the photo. Can you see a likeness to any of that quartet? Dawes, McGinn, Barry or Briggs? And less than half the time now remains. The brother of which expirant is shown there? Doors, McGinn, Barry or Briggs? And the answer is... Paul McGinn, it's Scotland international John McGinn. You can see the likeness, it's very similar. Met uh, Paul McGinn's family when he was down here, really nice people. So, B, the answer, let's take a look. Yep, a lot of people getting that right. 64, way in front, only seven going for Brad Barry, three for Briggs and two for Dawes. Question 13, against which current Premier League team does Chesford have a league record of played 10, won seven, drawn zero, Lost three, is it Leeds, Spurs, Newcastle or Southampton? So a league record for the Spyrites against one of those teams have played 10, won seven, drawn nil and lost three. So an impressive league record for the Spyrites against one of those, either Leeds, Tottenham, Newcastle or Southampton. Less than half the time now remains. A handful of people still to answer, including Emma, and came in late, Secret Stag, and Kong. We might have to rule Kong out, I'm not sure what's happened there. And the answer is Newcastle United. How many people put C? Only 17, 27 going for Leeds, 21 for Southampton. How many Premier League appearances did former Sparite Kevin Davis go on to make? 222, 333, 444, or 555? Very easy to ask. The Premier League appearances made by Super Kevin Davis 222, 333, 444, or 555? Less than half the time now remains. I'm running out. And the answer is 444. How many people put that? 26 going for that, but uh, the most popular answer, 333. On to question 15. Which of these clubs have Chesterfield played most recently in the Football League? Look at the badgers. Tell us whether it's A, B, C or D. So, who have the Sparites played most recently in the Football League? Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea or Arsenal? And less than half the time now remains. Into the last 10 seconds, is it Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea or Arsenal? Came in late, is still late. And the answer is Manchester United, 1938, Liverpool's 1905, Chelsea 1907, and Arsenal 1904. So A, the answer. Yeah, the most popular one with 34 getting that right. So 
With five to go, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Daz Spire still at the top. Croydon Blues in second. Pilsley Academical still in touch. And Operation Knee Anniversary, who's done well from the start. Brockwell Spireites 2 is there. Beachy, Ben Smith, West Bar Spireite, Crosby Spireite and Moss CFC. Last week's winner, Kevin Wagg, just outside the top 10. So who was the first Sparite to appear at the B2Net Stadium as it was who'd previously appeared in the Premier League? Ian Brecken, Jack Lester, Craig Davis, Rob Page. So the first Sparite to appear at the B2Net Stadium as it was called then, who'd previously appeared in the Premier League. Either Ian Brecken, Jack Lester, Craig Davis or Rob Page. That quartet. Do you think it is? 15 seconds left. I'm running out. Came in late and Kong still troubled, I'm sure, by connection. And the answer is Rob Page. Surprisingly, none of the other three ever appeared in the Premier League. So, Rob Page, take a look. Yeah, most popular answer, 30, but 24 thinking Ian Brecken, 13 for Craig Davis, and 11 for Jack Lester. The only time Chessfield have bagged seven goals at the current stadium, 7-1 win over Shrewsbury in January 2016. Which former Premier League player was on the score sheet that day? Was it O'Shea, Novak, Simons, or Ebanks Blake? So... That quartet, which was a Premier League player who scored in that 7 1 win over the Shrews in January 2016. Jay O'Shea, Lee Novak, Ryan Simons, or Sylvan Ebanks Blake. 15 seconds left. And the answer is... Jay O'Shea played 8 minutes for Birmingham at Old Trafford in 2009. Ebanks Blake made 76 appearances for Wolves in the Premier League, but he wasn't on the score sheet against Shrewsbury. So, A is the answer. And only 7 getting that right. So, many people thrown off the scent. 42 going for Sylvan Ebanks Blake. 21 for Novak. And seven for Ray Simons. So let's take a look at question 18. True or false, Ian Everts' only appearances in the Premier League were all for Blackpool. True or false? Very simple. Is that a true or false statement that Ian Everts' only appearances in the Premier League were all for Blackpool? Edges still to answer. They've been answering quickly tonight. They've sorted out their connection issues. Hopefully I've not spoken too soon. And they have been answering by now. Last 10 seconds. And they've now answered. And the answer is... False. Appeared in all of uh, 39 Blackpool games in... 2010-11, but he made four appearances, three as a sub, in the Premier League for Derby before he joined Chesterfield. So false B is the answer. And, yeah, that's catching quite a few people out there. 52 getting it wrong, only 25 right. So I think we'll take a final look at the leaderboard before uh, we conclude the quiz. That'll be uh, when we take a look for the final time, but uh, this is the penultimate time. Let's see. Daz Spire was the leader. And still there now, but only eight points from Moss CFC. So all to play for. Rockwell Spireites 2 still in contention. Croydon Blues is as well. Pilsley Academicals just about there with West Bar Spireite. Ben Smith doing well as well. So it's tight at the top. So all to play for. Could be crucial in these Last two questions. Penultimate one. Who was the last Chesterfield player to score at Saltergate who'd go on to play in the Premier League? 
uh, Kieran Jalali, Wade Small, Ishmael Demonyantak, or David Perkins, the last Chesterfield player to score at Saltergate, who'd go on to play in the Premier League. Kieran Jalali, Wade Small, Ishmael Demonyantak, or David Perkins. Well, Demonyantak, as Phil reminded me, was subject of a, a question and a q and I hosted with Ian Holloway. So we're going to the last 20 seconds. Uh, he didn't speak in uh, glowing terms about him, let's say. Last 10 seconds, I just remember it being very quick. Little end product, but uh, pace to burn. And the answer is, indeed, Ishmael Demonian Tack. Uh, and he went on to play a single Premier League game for Blackpool and a 6-0 loss at Arsenal. Uh, in a game that Ian Everett was red carded after half an hour. So let's take a look. How many people put C? And quite a popular one, but one behind David Perkins and 18 going for Jalali as well. So I could have made a difference as we go into the final question. Good luck, everyone. Can Daspire hold on to claim tonight's crown? So how many times has ex right skipper Sean Dyche been named as Premier League Manager of the Month? Zero, one, two or three? How many times has Sean Dyche been named Premier League Manager of the Month? Either zero, one, two or three? And less than half the time now remains. Times Daishi has been named as Premier League Manager of the Month 0, 1, 2, or 3. Just a handful of people to answer. And the answer is 2. March 2018 and February 2020. So let's see how many people put 2. Most popular answer with 27, but 23 going for 1, 17 for 3, and 10 for 0. So again, the answer's fairly spread there, so it could have an impact as we go and see the final leaderboard. Has Daz Spire held on to claim tonight's crown? So we'll start by taking a look at the top three. So in third place tonight... We have Ben Smith, who's done well. Finishing in third place, made up some lost ground there towards the end. Tonight's runner-up is Daspire, who led for much of the way. So we've had somebody who's snatched victory at the death. Tonight's winner is Pilsley Academicals by a single point. What a fantastic finish. Hard luck, Daspire. I know you were in the lead for much of the time but uh, Pilsley Academicals with a great late finish to snatch victory at the death let's take a look further down Moss CFC Operation Knee Anniversary Brockwell Spyrite 2 Croydon Blues West Bar Spyrite Crosby Spyrite and Newton Spyrite Kevin Wagg last week's winner just outside the top 10 so we go further down see if you see yourself there So we're down into the going into the 30s. Well, in the top 30 was Vladimir with his slow connection in the Ukraine. So great to uh, see you doing well there, Vladimir. You see yourself there. We're about halfway down the leaderboard. Don't leave us yet, by the way, because we've got the result of the draw for last month. Edgers in 42nd place there. Veiled Madness. Slip down, winner two weeks ago, third, I think it was last week, 43rd today. It shows you how things can change. Barrett's Police, good to see you with us and uh, notice you uh, tweeted earlier, so thanks very much for your support. That's brilliant to see you involved. Zoe's Uncle, so the Edgers take it over Zoe's Uncle in that particular family contest. 
going down there, Benno Spire, Dunk Flesh 89, Clean Team PK, all regular contestants. And we're now going to go down into the 70s. And you see yourself there, you will be able to look back. So in the end, we had, well, 80. Certainly 8 to you registered. Test is the uh, test, believe it or not. Just make sure that it's working. Um, so, we'll now, before we end the stream, we'll, uh, we'll find out the winner of the draw for last month. So what we did was we took the winner from each quiz that we did in January. So the Sparites quizzes and the Fun Family quizzes. And then we created a we look fortune. So let's take a look now. See who wins. So Jenny Tolls, the back headers, Bobby Dennis, Vale Madness, and Shooter. So they're all given those numbers and put on a wheel, which we're now going to spin to see who wins. And it's going to stop any moment now. So it is three. So well done to Bobby Dennis, who wins there. So I do have your details, Bobby Dennis, from the email that you sent before. A reminder, by the way, to uh, tonight's winner to uh, send me an email, just proving who you are. I think we know who you are, but uh, you might want to send me an email. You know the usual address, the media at chestfield-fc.co.uk. You're going to the draw for this month. But just a reminder about the Fun Family Quiz. That's on uh, Sunday at 5 o'clock, Valentine's Day edition. So uh, it will have a Valentine's Day theme. Well, loosely, loosely speaking, it's going to have a, a Valentine's Day theme. But don't forget, the exciting thing there is that we have a prize of a £45 voucher, which is to spend on a takeaway Italian. Um, so that's uh, fantastic that we are able to uh, to offer that. And uh, thanks very much for uh, the support there. That's uh, an Italian meal that we'll be offering £45, the voucher for a takeaway there. And that's for Lombardi's Italian. Don't forget too that if you want to order a meal for Sunday, takeaway dinner for two, £45, three courses. You can see the menu on the club website it includes blade of beef which is always fantastic so uh, get stuck into that one and it's uh, proved to be popular so please do get your orders in collection shown there from 3 to 5 p.m from the stadium and email your menu choices to events at chestfield-fc.co.uk but go on the club website and take a look at the choices i think there are four choices for main course also choices for starter and dessert. So that uh, will be an excellent meal, I can assure you. So uh, thanks very much once again uh, for uh, joining us and congratulations to our winner, a dramatic finish, Pilsley Academicals, taking victory at the death by just a single point over Daz Spire and Ben Smith in third. So uh, well done to you three in particular. Pillsley Academicals, the uh, latest name for the Pillsley franchise. So uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's quiz. It's always good when it's a real close finish at the end. And uh, hopefully you can join us on Sunday, 5 o'clock. And we've got a prize there. We might have another spot prize as well if I can uh, get the game right halfway through. I think we'll have something for... Uh, the top 20 to take part in at the halfway stage so uh, we'll be good to see you there and i'll be in touch with uh, the winner of the draw for last month's winners and of course was bobby dennis so uh, thanks again for joining us hope you've enjoyed it and uh, until the next time please do look after yourselves good night <laughs>